Hey everyone, uh, in this video of report portal, we will see how we can include a link in our Jenkins build itself so that we do not need to go to report portal every time to see the launches. So, in your Jenkins, once you are done executing your build, just below your in build history, just below your particular build, you will have the hyperlink to the launch which got created due to this particular build. So how we can do this? Uh, let me quickly show you. So for this, we'll need first of all uh, some APIs of our report portal. So to access the report portal APIs, you can go to this API link, right? And that controller that we need is this launch controller. So if I go here under launch controller, we have this particular get api get launch call right and what this uh, launch call will do is like you it will give you the launches specifically to the filters that you are providing right and so these are the query parameters which it can take you can filter on attribute filter on description and there are others as well so what i have done is for that uh, for this demo purpose i have made a get call with the help of postman so to enable this get call what we can do is we can have a header and in this header we'll have authorization and that api of your report portal you can just pass it here just use bearer and then space and then the value of your api key right and then this is the get call and here you can see we need to pass the report portal URL URL first, right? And then uh, here we'll be having this uh, V1, then the project name, and then the launch. So in our case, after API, uh, the project name is Cucumber, and then launch, right? So if I click here, after this i have used the query parameter like uh, what is the page number i want what is the page size i want to use and how i want to sort it what i have done here is that i wanted to get the information about the most recent launch right and for this here we can see in this particular query parameters we have page size page number and then the sort and sorting I have done on basis of sort uh, start time right so here you can see so once once you'll get the response here you will see that yeah, you have all this information coming in and out of this start time is also one so as we want a most latest launch that means we want a launch which is having a start time which is latest for this we can use descending Right, and once we'll do that, the information will come in in this format, right? And here, here you will have this ID, and this ID you can see here. And what is the significance of this ID? So let me quickly show you the URL that is getting formed on the launches side. Here we can see uh, this is our report portal base URL. Then we have the project name starting with has, then launches all then this is the id right so whatever information that you are you will be getting here id this id is used to uh, like this id is appended in the end of uh, the url when we are opening a specific launch so we have used this information and on basis of this what we have done is like we have made first uh, http request in the jenkins stage to kind of uh, get this kind of response and so once we this once we get this response we are just extracting this id attribute right and this id attribute then we are appending in our url like we are forming a link here in form of uh, anchor right here we have anchor link and here we have provided href and this href is this particular url that we need like localhost and this thing that we just discussed right so here you can see uh, this is the project name uh, has here then we have launches all and then the latest launch id and then go to launch <coughs> and with this step current build or description 
this particular link will get added here just below the build right and let me quickly show you so uh, this is the stage link rp2 jenkins and this is coming just below our build stage where we will be executing the test cases uh, like i'm working on one more particular concept which is rerunning the failed test cases but this is just in rnd mode so we can ignore it for now uh, in this demo we are mainly focusing on this how to generate the link of the launch which got created and how we can add that link directly to our build right so in this video uh, we will be just focusing on that hyperlink and in our previous videos we have already seen how the link code created and the rerun related part where we will execute the failed cases we'll see in our future videos so here we are making http request here we are extracting the uh, id from the response and here we are building that particular hyperlink and here we are adding that hyperlink to our build current build dot description equal to link will do that part now a few things which we need to uh, consider is like if you are uh, having you are using these particular uh, like http request or uh, here read json where we are reading the json so you will need some plugins uh, the jenkins plugins and let me quickly show you what all jenkins plugins we need so i'll go to dashboard and i'll go to I go to Jenkins and here we have manage Jenkins and under manage Jenkins we need to go into plugins part and under plugins first is HTTP request plugin that we need so I'll go to install plugin in my case because I have already installed those plugin HTTP request plugin right this is one plugin and apart from that we have uh, like to read uh, read json right so for this one we have pipeline utility steps yeah so this one pipeline utility steps this one is required for reading the json here right and then uh, for forming a link there is one particular setting that we need to uh, do otherwise what will happen so if you will pass this link as it is in the form of anchor tag uh, and in case you have not made this particular setting which I'm going to show you then this will come straight forward in the form of a text so let me quickly show you what I mean so I'll go to Jenkins uh, manage Jenkins and here I'll need to go to security part and in security if you scroll down here you will have uh, 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 yeah this uh, marker formatter so by default in my case it was plain text i had to make it safe html so that html tags can be understood by jenkins so that's why like here if you'll see now in my previous runs which i have done I am getting this anchor link which is which is giving me go to launch and this launch ID which I have mentioned in my uh, this particular stage that go to launch and then launch ID so let me trigger a new build here right and we'll see the generated anchor tag here and then instead of going to report portal and logging in will directly see yeah, which particular launch is related to which particular build and in long run it will be helpful in the way like you will see your builds are here but uh, normally like you ne need to first check the maybe description of your launch id and then you will see which particular build id was there which particular build id was linked to which particular launch but with this particular uh, setting that we have done here configuration that we have made here will be able to see launch and builds linked to each other
and as of now as i mentioned we can ignore this rerun failed cases uh, i am still working on this one but yeah we'll focus on this part link rp to jenkins So here we can see the launch code created, right? And this launch, when we'll click on this, and it will straightforward go to uh, open the report portal with that particular launch information which got created, right? And let's give it some time. Yeah, it is opening, and here you will see the information about that particular launch. So this is it for this demo, guys, and. I'll be coming up with more concepts related to report portal and till that time happy learning see you in the next video thank you